Hey y'all, welcome back to the Hack Shack. Today we're taking the Panerani Badger 2040 from stock to custom in badge mode. We'll just be scratching the surface of what this awesome little device is capable of, but customizing the badge portion is easy to do and handy. Back in August, I noticed that Pimeroni was having a 10 year sale, so I figured I'd head over and uh, the Badger 2040 caught my eye, and mainly because of remembering the cool mag tag that Retrocombs had at VCF Midwest last year. I went ahead and ordered the Ford Deluxe pack on August 31st, knowing that I was wanting to get it before VCF Midwest, knowing that was likely not going to happen, and in fact, it did not happen. I was kind of bummed, but BCF Midwest was still awesome, so that's all good. Let's check out how this thing looked when it arrived. All right, so it's so got a nice USB cable in here, USB-C, actual lanyard right there. Battery pack, and actually came with batteries, that's handy. Let's check out the actual package here. Got some Velcro there to use for holding the battery pack on. Inside here, we actually get the first chance to see the Badger 2040. Check out how nice that display looks. Isn't that nice? And notice it has no power. That's the great thing about these ink displays. Unless you're changing the display, they'll kind of stay stuck at the last thing they showed. I just love the artwork on the back of this. It is so cool. That's an awesome looking Badger. At this point, I connected up the battery pack to see what it would do out of the box. Here, flipping on the power switch on the battery pack. At that point, the menus start responding. And you've got this up and down there, and then A, B, and C across the bottom. And to get back out of a program, you hit A and C at the same time. And here's just a little close up showing going through some of the menus just so you can see what you've got to deal with there. And the main one we're gonna focus on in this video is the badge app because I think that's one of the handier things it can do. You've got clock and a checklist and an e-reader and some other things here, but we're gonna focus on the badge. This does have a e-ink display, 296 by 128, which is really nice. USB-C, QWST, the battery connector, and the RP2040 can be seen from the rear. The badge program in the Badger wants the image to be 104 pixels wide and 128 pixels in height. So I already had a logo, so I sized it 104 wide, didn't mess with the other side because I didn't want to skew it, and then I used the canvas size option to essentially generate some white space. Notice here, I make sure this is not linked so it doesn't skew the image and I adjust that height to now be 128. That gives me some space at the top and bottom, but I'm using GIMP here and I'm telling it to let that space be white. I hit resize and you'll see I've got some space, kind of center it up. And then when I save that out, I've got the size that the Badger expects. The next part is you have to make it one bit color. And then GIMP, you do that by going to Mode and Indexed here. Use black and white right there, one bit palette. Convert. And now, essentially, you're just gonna go File and Export As, and just save it as a different PNG name. And you just need to remember where you put that, because now you're gonna need to use this Convert Python script, which I'll have a link for in the description, and it's going to do some extra stuff to it. And you have to use these options that are in the documentation, which I'll also link to, and it saves this badge image file out. And this is what you're going to use to push to the badge. And to do that, you're going to need to go get this Thani IDE from Thani.org, and you want to have your image bin file ready, and it's got to be named that and you're gonna need a badge.txt file. Now the Badger will have a badge.txt, see there with that default text in it. Now you can edit this and save it there, but what I'm gonna do is just delete it. You'll see here, I'm gonna get rid of it.
and I, this is the one I've edited and I'm just going to copy that. You just kind of right click there and upload to the root. That's where it wants a badge.txt to be. That's what the uh, badge program is going to be looking for that's already on the badger. So that's there. And now that image we created from the convert utility after resizing it and stuff, we're going to also upload that. At that point, it's pushed to the badge and you can hit the button on the back of the badger to reset it. And as soon as you do, you'll see that. And at this point, you can remove your power. So this has been a fun little project. There's so much more you can do with these, but I thought this was a fun, quick thing to do first. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again next time.